Thank you, Governor. First, we'll go to Kim Krusey with the AP. Kim, your line is open. Thank you, Gillum. Hi, Governor. Um, this week, uh, your administration announced that it would soon stop the sharing of COVID patient uh, names and addresses of first responders at the end of the month. I was curious what kind of feedback you've gotten from law enforcement who asked your administration to provide this data saying that it was really needy. I'm curious if you've gotten any feedback, any opposition to this, to this decision. Well, we've, we've worked with law enforcement along the way and have, have done so um, throughout the pandemic. And we coordinated with them, let them know ahead of time that we would, first of all, the decision was a temporary one to protect law enforcement. Back several weeks ago at the beginning of this pandemic, we certainly did not know exactly what we were facing. We did know that law enforcement and first responders did not have the personal protective equipment necessary uh, to protect them as they engaged with the public. And we wanted to make sure that they had the protection they needed, especially going into an unknown environment of, uh, of COVID in which we didn't know what, what the extent of it would be in the state. So we made that decision and that allowed for protection for law enforcement. But we also knew all along that uh, personal um, uh, information is important to protect whenever possible. So we let law enforcement know that we would be uh, working to get to get personal protective equipment. And when we would, then we would ship that to them so they would have uh, the protection they need. And that is what we've done. We have uh, opened up the supply lines, as you know, for uh, increased personal protective equipment. We made those shipments and, and we believe that law enforcement can operate safely now. Do you have a response to Nashville continuing to hand over this data to first responders and others? Uh, today, the, the health director of you know Nashville said that he called your administration's decision. He said he was puzzled by it. He still views this as valuable. Do you, do you have a response to that? Well, I think it's um, something that we knew all along that would be temporary. So uh, we certainly knew that we would have a period of time where we. Uh, where the, in which we didn't have personal protective equipment that we would allow uh, first responders to have safety in this way, but that that would change. And when it became evident that it was possible to protect them, that we would do so. So that that we carried out that plan. That's uh, that's what we expected to do, and um, and we were certain about that. Thank you. 